knows what we've just done is built part of the sides. Our 10 foot conduit was a little short, so what we've done is put a foot and five inches into the end right here with those couplers. We use the 90 degree easy pull type of uh, 90 degree angle there for the conduit. And we used a screw gun to connect everything so that way it stays good and tight. My poles right now, the uprights are 36 inches. And of course we could always change that if we want to. So where we're at just as an update. I've taken the conduit couplers, welded them to these hinges. And that right there will be how we're going to hinge our blind. You can see we've now installed one side of our blind. We lowered it eight inches total so that way the younger children can see over the top a little better and we can see if anything's hitting the water while we're in a seated position. But you can see it does very nicely lift up and down. We will be adding a couple more pieces to the structure for that. And like I said, just a basic hinge right here. I've screwed it in two places there and one on the side. You can see the welds right here. They're not beautiful, but a little paint won't hurt. And then I always crank down on my tightening screws there to set screws with my impact. So what we've done here is we've taken my bandsaw and cut one of the couplers, actually two of the couplers, in half. Now these right here are little clamps that go on to conduit, and this is what we're going to attach to the top rail on all four corners of our blind. And I've taken this here and welded the two of these together just like so. So this way, this will be permanently clamped. And our, and our conduit will slide in and out of this, so that way we can take it apart to fold it. Just a quick update. We've built a few more of these clamps right here for center supports of the blind, which are going to be right about there, kicking down to the floor. That way if someone ever grabs the side of the blind, it won't collapse. Also, I've made two more hinges. And you can see kind of how we've done that. It's just a hinge, this clamp, just like that. And I've also got two more clamps to support that. And that's all going to go right up here on the front of the boat. And that's my dog area. So I'll have the two hinges, one here and one on the other side, going up. It'll support to that. Frame. What we've done here is we put a wire across the bottom and uh, just clothesline wire this galvanized spool of I think it's 14 gauge. It's just going to give us a little bit more something to put the grass to on the bottom. I've done it up here in the dog section as well. As you can see now the dog section is complete. We have one stabilizer there and in the time lapse you saw us take it down and put it back up. There's our supports and all I've done with the supports here is on this rib I put a little screw there just to hold it from falling down. It's just there to help give us a little extra strength. We got the boat all painted up right here, all the frame anyway, and we're getting ready to put the grass on. Just going to be a lot of tying the grass onto the top rail and the bottom rail, and you'll see what it's going to look like here shortly. Here's a quick view of the inside of the boat. On the back here by the motor we did take and add a panel and all we did was thread it, the uh, cross post right there through the mat and so that way it will slide back and forth. kind of wish that we would have 
threaded everything through and we may end up doing that in the future here but you can see everything's getting there we put a little bench in across the benches that way we can sit down and stand easily when it's time to shoot i did use a little extra on the top here to cover the dog and if you notice right here i just got these big office clips and that helps hold these grass blinds. That's what I was using last year on my little stand-up blinds that I was making out of this grass and conduit. So that's the inside. Kind of a sit down, look out. So just a nice little close up all the way around the boat. We still have to do our dog ramp. Front of the boat back around this thing should work well part of my build here is the dog ramp hopefully it'll stay down enough that she'll be able to get in if not we'll weight it down with a little bit of lead get it to float just right for her so thank you for checking into my channel and watching this video hopefully it helps everybody out a little bit don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share my my videos thank you